If I had been running a Republican campaign against President Obama last year, I would have run it entirely on the VA. Mm -hmm. A bureaucracy, a bloated big government program that can't be fixed and let's do right by our veterans. Mm -hmm. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy. Veterans who do get treated are satisfied with their treatment. Much now, more so than people much, in the regular system. Uh, it's yes. exactly right. right. Now, nobody would believe that from the coverage that uh, you see. Vast right-wing conspiracy. Uh, and the constant uh, berating of the VA that comes from the Republicans, in, in part in pursuit of this ideological agenda that But in have. part because there has been real scandal. There has been. And, but it's not been as widespread as it has been made out to be. Vast right-wing conspiracy. And here's a perfect example of the way that the Republicans uh, try to have it both ways. They try to create a downward spiral. Don't fund it to the extent that it needs to be funded because we want it to fail so then we can argue for privatization. Vast right-wing conspiracy. But I think it goes deeper than that because if you look at not only VA health care but the backlog on disability determinations, uh, there's something not working within the bureaucracy. Vast right-wing conspiracy. Um, do you... Do you have any new ideas for trying to fix it? I mean, every, there, you can't find a person in politics who doesn't say we shouldn't do right by our veterans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, this can't get fixed fast enough. Vast right-wing conspiracy. They still want to privatize Medicare. They still want to do away with Social Security. And these are fights we've been having for 70, 80 years now. Vast right-wing conspiracy. But we have to be more creative about trying to... Um, fix the problems that are the legitimate concerns so that we can try to stymie the Republican uh, assault. Vast right-wing conspiracy. So we can try to stymie the Republican assault. We cannot grow weary in the face of these ideological assaults. Vast right-wing conspiracy. I, I love what she says here, kind of in all candor. Yeah, I don't understand that. Can we do, can we, do we clip that? Can we just roll that little bit again? For some reason, this can't get fixed fast enough. Yeah, and I don't understand that. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy. Akin to and largely responsible for the sweeping changes in our industrial military posture has been the technological revolution during recent decades. In this revolution, research has become central. It also becomes more formalized, complex, and costly. A steadily increasing share is conducted for, by, or at the direction of the federal government. Today, the solitary inventor, tinkering in his shop, has been overshadowed by task forces of scientists in laboratories and testing fields. In the same fashion, the free university, historically the fountainhead of free ideas and scientific discovery, has experienced a revolution in the conduct of research, partly because of the huge costs involved, a government contract becomes virtually a substitute for intellectual curiosity. For every old blackboard, there are now hundreds of new electronic computers. The prospect of domination of the nation's scholars by federal employment, project allocations, and the power of money is ever present and is gravely to be regarded. Yet in holding scientific research and discovery in respect, as we should, we must also be alert to the equal and opposite danger that public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific technological elite. It is the task of statesmanship to mold, to balance, and to integrate these and other forces, new and old, within the principles of our democratic system, ever aiming toward the supreme goals of our free society.